Hello, welcome back. Just about everybody growing up ate Hamburger Helper. The Cheeseburger Hamburger Helper has been a family favorite of ours growing up, but we decided we would rather have it made with real ingredients instead of all the chemical powder stuff that comes in the box. So in this quick and easy recipe video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this at home, homemade with stuff you probably already have in your pantry. Quick and easy, absolutely delicious, better than the box stuff, and no chemicals. So hit that subscribe button down there and check this out. For your ingredients, plain salt, I like to non-iodize for recipes, garlic powder, black pepper, paprika, some bouillon cubes, onion powder or granulated onion, some rosemary leaves, and some spicy brown or Dijon mustard. And of course we're going to need two cups of macaroni noodles and a pound of burger meat. We're going to use a pound of ground venison for this recipe. And you're going to need a cup of half and half and your favorite shredded cheese. We're going to use mild shredded cheddar in this recipe. Keep in mind, this is a recipe. It's like guidelines, so you can trick this out and make it your own. In fact, leave me a comment below and tell me how you'd do it differently to make it better, and then we can argue why mine's better anyway. There's a complete list of the ingredients and the recipe, so you can cut and paste it into your own file down in the description below. Now here's a great little trick for your rosemary leaves. Take a regular spice or coffee grinder and take that and break those up a little bit. You gotta kind of pulse it to break them up. Otherwise they just spin around like this and don't do anything. There we go. See that? That's gonna be a lot better in your recipe. For the dry ingredients, we used about a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of salt, three quarter teaspoons of black pepper, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. This recipe calls for four cups of bouillon. We're using bouillon cubes, so the best way to deal with this is to take your cubes, put them in a the jar, add two of the cups of water, go ahead and stick that in the microwave for two minutes, and that'll dissolve your bouillon cubes and get ready to add after you've browned your meat. Now go ahead and get the meat in there and start browning that up. This is a great dish for ground venison, and believe it or not, it only takes about 20 minutes to cook. I forgot to put this in the ingredients list. As it's browning, Add two tablespoons of tomato paste and one of your spicy brown mustard, which if you pull it out of the refrigerator and leave it on the counter, it tends to kind of explode. And add in all your dry ingredients as well. With venison, you have very little fat to worry about, so you're not going to have to worry about draining this burger. If you're going to use regular burger, use the leanest burger you can find, so you don't have to worry as much about draining off the fat. Now, once you got your meat all brown, go ahead and add in your bouillon. Now remember, we just pre-did that, so I need two more cups of water to make four cups of bouillon. And two cups of macaroni noodles. Now, if you like a normal amount of macaroni noodles, just go a cup and a half. We like it more noodly. Noodly. Is that a word? Noodler? Whatever, more noodles. And this part is what takes the longest. Just stir it all together and get it up to a boil. Once you got it back up to a boil, just go ahead and cover it and reduce the heat and simmer until the noodles are done. And you'll want to stir that occasionally while the noodles are cooking. This takes the longest part of any of this little cook and it just depends on what kind of noodles you use as to how long it takes to get them cooked. So while this is cooking, you need to keep stirring it to make sure the noodles get cooked evenly and you reduce everything down. These noodles are just about ready. So once the noodles are soft, you add a cup of half and half. And two cups of cheddar cheese. We're using mild cheddar in this recipe. Just stir all that together and let the cheese melt and this thing will be pretty well done. Now remember cheese too is something you can tweak. You can add some American if that's your thing. You can change it up with different kinds of cheese, pepper jack, whatever you want to do. In fact you can make this meal probably five or six different ways. Now for this part I just bring the heat up a little bit more and go ahead and stir that uncovered to help reduce the sauce and make it super cheesy. That's way better than that box stuff. 
you can see how thick it ends up getting. Nothing like some good old comfort food. Now I like to serve mine up just like a kid with a couple of slices of good old buttered white bread. Was there ever any doubt? So, cheeseburger, hamburger helper from scratch, made with venison or ground beef, with none of the powdery chemical stuff. You'll never buy it in the box again. Absolutely fantastic. So leave me a comment below. Tell me what you'd do different with this recipe when you make it. Hit that subscribe button down there. Give me that thumbs up like button. We'll see you next time. Test noodle. Ouch. Yummy.